Welcome back you whiskey loving legends to another episode of Was It Worth It Whiskey. Today we're going to look at Aardberg 10. Yep. And because we can and because I want to, I'm going to do a back to back comparison with the other Isla 10, the Port Charlotte 10. Because why not? I say and I think a lot of people have always been asked, you know, which one do I go to first? Which one should I try first? Which one's better? Well, we mightn't go into what's better, but at least we'll go into the differences and what you can expect. So, both being Isla whiskies, um, there's a few differences. So the Aardberg 10 is a non-chill filter, uh, no colouring, obviously. Um, 46% ABV, and it's distilled, oh, it's, it was matured in ex bourbon casks. Ex bourbon casks only. I'll just pour this one out so it rests as well. So there we go, there's our Ardberg on that side. Okay, I'll pour the Port Charlotte out. The Port Charlotte, on the other hand, is also non chill filtered, also no. No colouring, um, and it's fifty percent, not forty-six percent, and it's uh, matured in a variety of American oak and wine casks. So we'll have to sit that over there a bit. Well, let's do a colour comparison because we can. So the colour, they're pretty much the same. The Port Charlotte has a little bit more colour on, but not much. Right. So which one is better and which one do you try first? That is the question that gets asked many, many times. I don't think there's a straight answer, but we'll try and look at the differences, like we said. Let's warm it up a bit. So we're doing the Arberg at the moment, and we get the, um, so it's a sweet smoke. Um, Straight up, a bit of a saltiness, like um, sea, sea air. I get a multi meatiness as well. The smoke turns a bit more like a barbecue smoke, maybe. And then we get um, into like a, a citrus notes, maybe some lemon, maybe some lime as well. Good, good bit of lime in those notes as well. And there's a hint of vanilla. You, you can definitely, you can smell the, the bourbon cask influence in this one. Now this one also, um, so they actually peak this one to 55 parts per million. Whereas the Port Charlotte is 40 ppm. You know you, you know you're drinking an Ardberg, Ardberg straight up. Um, you get a deep, rich barbecue smoke straight up. Um, those bourbon notes straight away in your mouth as well. A good whack of peppery oak, um, vanilla, the citrus again. And then you start to get those iodine notes as well. Um, and I also get, let's just try it again. Get like a stewed fruit as well. I'm going to say like a iodine infused stewed nectarines. <laughs> but uh, very nice. Not not a complete mouth coating. Um, it's, it's not a very what you call a thick whiskey. And the fin finish I get a uh, spicy oak, the citrus again. But I get more of an orange on the citrus on the um, on the finish. Uh, that smoke's a bit lighter. And then going into it, I get the the tannins, uh, oak tannins, that, that kind where you're like uh, biting down on a uh, grape pip. That sort of um, notes of uh, bitterness. And 
I'm going to say the finish is like short to medium finish. So it's not an overly long finish. But um, very nice indeed. When comparing to our Port Charlotte, on the other hand, which I suspect will be is fairly similar or have some similarities because it's about both the Isla whiskey. Um, <clears throat> different cask maturing, so we should see some differences there. And it's got a 50%, so it's a little bit more higher ABV as well. <clears throat> and a little bit less smoke on the count, 55 to 40 ppm. So, but let's see. So on the nose, it's, it's um, we get the sweet smoke again. I get, I get more of a briny and salt, malty meatiness. I get uh, a caramel in this one as well, in the Port Charlotte. And there's a funny sweetness, kind of like a cotton candy or fairy floss. And I get some more citrus, but more, more orange than lime. And there's some creaminess, like a, it smells like cream brulee. So the nose is, uh, has some similarities, but is definitely different. The first big difference I know when I'm doing back to back like this is the mouth coating. So the Port Charlotte is, is a thicker, more richer um, whiskey. I still get the uh, sweet smoke um, uh, following these, these barbecue notes, much sort of similar to the Ardbeck. Um, but then I get salted nuts. Um, and this nice spice. I get a few little medicinal notes, but they're nice ones. Mm. Uh, more, more caramel. Um, once again, it's just, it makes a big difference, that mouth coating to me. But some people don't like that, but I'm in favour of that big mouth coating. I get some mint in there too. In the palette so really nice on, on the finish I get a, uh, a delicate smoke um, delicate smoke uh, nice solid bitterness bitter notes that they kind of linger um, but they're nice bitter notes really nice really really nice bitter notes and then I even get some like green crispy apple on the finish as well it's all of this peppery spicy notes of the oak spices so there you go there's the two differences I, I think we'll go through them the biggest two differences I found with them all well just the most outstanding one so you can decide one art bag is a little bit more smart on the smoky side 55 to 40 uh, I find art bag a lot thinner uh, not much as a, a mouth cutting whereas the Port Charlotte I find gives a really thick mouth coating and is much richer. Um, what else is big difference? The finish. Uh, the finish is a lot longer and, and a lot more pleasant, I think, with the Port Charlotte, whereas the Ardbeg is kind of a, a short, bitter punch in your face and then gone. Um, and that's really about, about it, really about the dip. It for the differences and um, they both got kind of a meaty funkiness they both got that sea saltiness being that Isla seaweed or sea air um, whiskies so there you go now similar reviewing the Ardbeg I'll give that a score so I'm gonna give the Ardbeg a score of 88 points for the nose and I'm going to give it a 87 points for the palette and a 86 points for the finish. And that gives us uh, about 87 points for uh, the total score. Not a bad score. 
Now, was it worth its score, which is more important than everything, anything, as far as I'm concerned, anyway? Um, you can pick this bottle up for forty pounds, ninety-four AUD, sixty-five USD, almost identical price to the Port Charlotte. So on that price, I'm going to give it a solid seven out of ten, thumbs up. Now, not that it matters, but um, just to let you know what I think my favourite is, I'm going to go with the Port Charlotte. Um, for me, that gives a eight out of ten. Eight out of ten. Um, I've got a full Port Charlotte review on my channel too if you want to have a look at it. But um, the Ardberg, Ardberg 10, that's a winner. Thumbs up, 7 out of 10. And I hope it helped. I hope uh, if you're thinking about buying either of these whiskies or trying them, this will give you a bit more idea. Maybe you can uh, you like some of the notes, not others. Maybe you like a bit more smoke. Maybe you don't like a, a fur, full mouth coating. Then you probably want to go the Ardberg. If you like a full mouth coating and you want a little bit less smoke and maybe a little bit more depth, maybe the Port Charlotte's for you. So till next time, cheers.